guys, what's up? It's Rachel back with another video and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a fall haul. I don't have any updates in this video. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. But before I do, I've been liking to throw this out here in my videos. If you guys love shopping, if you guys love makeup, if you guys love hauls, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, any of that stuff, this is definitely the place for you. Feel free to subscribe and hit that bell below so you're notified every time I upload a video. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with the haul. So everything that I'm about to share with you guys is basically fall and Halloween decor and things like that. Little things that I probably didn't need but just really liked. And I also have a few makeup products that I'm going to sneak in at the end. So if you like makeup, definitely stay till the end so you can see what I picked up. So since you can kind of see it through the mirror back here, I'm going to go ahead and start with this. This was actually in the middle of my island. So what it is, I'm going to try to hold it back. It's a tree, and I don't think I can get it all, but literally, it is from The Nightmare Before Christmas. By the way, I'm wearing like a gown. It goes above the knee. I picked this up from Marshalls, if you guys are curious, but back to this. I picked this up from Lowe's, and I actually like it in the center of the island. I don't know if I'm showing it good, but this is basically what it is. It has the heads all over it, and they light up, so I don't know if I can play this in my YouTube video or not, but it basically sings The Nightmare Before Christmas song, so, and it lights up purple. I'll do like a little quick. So that's basically what it does. It's really cool, especially when the lights are off and stuff, but this was not a necessary purchase. This was just something that I thought was really cool. And I'm a huge Nightmare Before Christmas fan, so I decided to go ahead and pick this one up. The next thing that I had to share with you guys is one of these pretty blankets. I've seen these everywhere in Marshalls and Ross. I decided to pick one up since I didn't have one that was like a Halloween theme. These are good to lounge with or just throw on your couch if you're going to decorate. This is the one that I went with. This one was $12.99, so this is what it looks like. It has like these little monsters. That's what it looks like to me anyway. What really set it off for me was the colors in it because I like the green and I love the candy corn on it. I know there's such a debate whether people like candy corn or not. I personally do and I know a lot of people don't. This is what underneath the blanket looks like. It's that black and it's really soft. This is what it looks like again if you guys are curious. I did pick this one up at Ross if I didn't mention. Moving on to some candles that I highly recommend. I found this one at Marshall's for $14.99. This one is for from the brand Sensational. And this one is called Cigar Lounge. And this is what it looks like. It says Coconut Blend Wax Candle. This to me is a woodsy, musky candle. So like almost like men's cologne, but it has like that fall scent to it. I can't really describe it. I'm horrible at describing scents, but I really do enjoy this. And if you guys see this at Marshall's, I highly recommend it. It smells so good. And this is a pretty big candle. And I love the black. I think it's really fitting for like the season. I also picked up another candle. This one is from Marshall's and this was $7.99. This one is called Witch's Brew. Now I've seen a lot of people find this candle in different packaging, but I actually really do like the black packaging with the woody top, but it smells so good. I honestly, it says spices, apples, and sugar. That's what it says on it, but I don't know. It just smells like fall. I can't really describe it. Um, if you guys had the Hocus Pocus candle that Colourpop had released with their second collection, that's kind of what it reminds me of in a way. And I went through that candle. My husband absolutely loved it and he actually burned it like he loved it. And I was going to pick it up if they'd have brought it out again. This time around with the third Hocus Pocus collection, I actually had that collection on the way. I'm so excited for it. I picked it up the second that it launched. I was on the website. Crazy enough, it wasn't really hard to get this time. So I don't know if people just didn't care for it. I know I've seen a lot of good reviews on it. It was just really easy to get this time. And as I'm filming this video, there's still products available. But yes, highly recommend this candle, which is brew. So this is what it looks like. Love the packaging on this as well. The last candle that I had to share with you guys is actually from Walmart. And this one is called Pumpkin Pistachio. This one smells so good. If you're going to pick up one candle from this video, I highly recommend this one. Again, I don't know if I said it. This is from Walmart and this is from the Better Homes and Garden line. So this is what the packaging looks like. The packaging on this is absolutely gorgeous. I have burnt this and when you burn it, the light like peeks through. It looks really pretty. It looks like a night light, but this is what the packaging looks like. I love like the teal blue. Really, really pretty. They have a line of candles in different colors in the same packaging and pretty much just about every one of them that I smell, they all smell good. I liked this one and then like the burnt orangey-ish red colored one. I really like that one as well, but I decided to only pick up one. This one I highly recommend and this 
this lingers everywhere. If this tells you anything, we had lit it from the living room and the bedroom door all the way on the other end was open and I could smell it from there. So if that tells you anything, really, really good and I highly recommend it. Can't remember the price, but I did pick it up from Walmart. Moving right along, I picked up some Halloween mugs. I actually have a few to talk about with you guys. Some of these were going viral on TikTok. Now, I'm not a TikTok user. Like, I don't have an account with TikTok. I think it's trouble. That's just my opinion personally. I think it's just a bunch of drama. But I do like TikTok for the fact of like the trends when something goes viral and the makeup trends that go viral. So, I watch that stuff like on YouTube. I will specifically like type in makeup TikToks or just random TikToks will come up when things go viral on YouTube. So, I don't personally like TikTok and I don't have a TikTok account is what I'm trying to say. But these were actually going viral and the one that I really want, I can't find it. It is the pink pumpkin mug from Walmart and it's like five bucks. Cannot find it, but I'm on the hunt for it. But I did find the ghost. So this is what he looks like. He was five bucks. He was like four or something. And I think it's super cute. My idea for all these mugs is I'm going to get one of them. I found one on Amazon that I like and you basically just put it in your kitchen and you hang your mugs. So I'm going to get one of those and then decorate it by season. So right now I'm going to put like my fall Halloween mugs, whatever. I thought this was super cute. And this one may have went viral. I'm not sure, but I thought it was cute nonetheless. So again, I found this one at Walmart. Now the next one I found at Walmart is also five bucks. And this one basically looks the same as the pink pumpkin that's went viral, except the mouth is a little bit different if I'm not mistaken. So this is what it looks like. It's the black one with the orange through it. So this is what it looks like. Again, if you guys have found the pink pumpkin, let me know. Just really curious, but this again is what it looks like. Super cute. And I just couldn't pass this one up, especially for the price. The last mugs that I had to share with you guys, I actually found these at Ross and these were six bucks each. This is what the first one looks like. It's like a, what do you call this? Like an iridescent or like a holographic or something. Like it shines like purple and blue, but this is what it looks like. This is the front and here's the side. I thought this one was just really cool. I couldn't pass it up. And especially for the price, I cannot wait to get one of those thingies and like hang them all. I think that looked really cute. This is what it looks like. And I liked it so much that they had another color in it. So I decided to go ahead and grab it as well. This is what it looks like. So it looks, I can't even describe it. It looks purple and green and maybe black. I'm not exactly sure, but it looks really cool. I decided to pick this one up as well. That is actually all the new like fall Halloween pieces that I have picked up here recently. None of this was stuff that I needed. It was just cute stuff that I just wanted to get for the house, whatever. I also have some makeup pieces to share with you guys. I have one piece that's like, what's the word? People's upset over it. So ColourPop, if you've seen, came out with a Harry Potter collection. I personally am a big Harry Potter fan and I always have been. I think I got into it like an old friend had got me into it when I was like in middle school. So I really am a fan, but I don't support none of that stuff. Like I'm not a mean person. I won't say nothing about anybody. You live your life the way you want to. I'm not the person to judge. Like I'm not put here on this earth to judge. That's the way I see it. So you do you. A lot of people was upset because apparently JK Rowling, I always said Rowling. I've heard people say Rowling too. So I don't know. They say she's like a really mean person. If you want to know more about that, I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but you can always go and Google it. I'm sure by now you probably know if you hadn't, especially if you're in the makeup world, people was upset on, I've seen people commenting on Trend Mood. I've seen people commenting on the ColourPop Instagram. So I just know that I just love Harry Potter. That's all I have to say. I love Harry Potter. So I picked up the eyeshadow palette. For those of you that's upset about it, I didn't want to make like a video on it, which I don't, I haven't been doing like strictly reviews on products. That's not something that I've been doing here for a while. I think at the beginning of my channel, I really was focused on eyeshadow palettes and stuff a lot, like trying to do looks all the time. But nowadays I just kind of like just haul and take it easy and just do whatever. Whatever comes to mind whatever I feel like doing. So I just wanted to let it be known like I'm not against anybody. I just love Harry Potter. I just wanted the eyeshadow palette. I thought it was a really cute collection. I want to share it with you guys if you hadn't seen it, but I also wanted to point out and I did comment. I think it was on the ColourPop Instagram. I wanted to comment because this was just my opinion. Did people make such a big deal about when Ulta made a Harry Potter collection? They came up with palettes and stuff because I know people was showing that in their videos like eyeshadow palette collections. Like I've seen the Harry Potter palettes with Ulta. So I wanted to know if it was like, if people were really upset about that or are they really upset because ColourPop is just such a huge brand? I don't know. But anyway, here is the Harry Potter palette. So when you get it in the mail, if you did purchase this or if you didn't and you're just curious, it was wrapped in like a acceptance letter. It was really cutely presented. And this is what it looks like when you open it up and then it slides right out. ColourPop has been doing this thing right here. Like it's like a little window. This is actually how the Hocus Pocus 3D 
three palettes is like it'll have like the little window here and and that's where the sisters will be this is what it looks like when you take it out of the box super super cute and i'll hold up the box if i didn't explain that well like you can see this part is like where that's at but anyways and this is what it looks like on the inside i'm really excited to play with this and honestly i just could not pass this up it says back to hogwarts which i think is really cute and this is what the palette looks like it doesn't have a mirror this does have quite a bit of shades in here but this is what you have going on i can't show you how pretty it is you're not going to be able to tell on my phone i just know that looking at it it's absolutely stunning this is what you have going on i'll try to give you guys a close-up but the shimmers the metallics in here look so pretty and i'm so curious about like those shades that look like they have like a marbled look really excited for this cannot wait to play with it this is not something i'll be doing looks with on my channel but this is something that i will just be using in my personal daily use cannot wait to play with this and if you guys have tried it if you guys did end up purchasing it please let me know how you guys liked it i didn't even look to see if people done videos on this i'm sure that they probably did i personally was just curious and wanted to have it if you guys have been here on my channel for a while then you know that i am such a color pop collector the next palette i have here is from morphe and i actually found this at marshall's i think it was 12 something can't exactly remember but this is the morphe this is the ashley strong eyeshadow palette so this is what the packaging looks like i have seen people show this that they have been finding it at their stores but this is what it looks like now this right here i accidentally poked it with like the little sheet that comes in it so it wasn't swatched or anything like that but this is what it looks like i thought the color story was really pretty for fall i can work with morphe eyeshadows and when i opened this up something about the metallics in here just look really pretty and these mattes over here like this one and this one and this one this one it just reminded me of fall i decided i'd go ahead and pick this one up i get along pretty well with the morphe eyeshadow formula i think some are definitely better than others but overall it's not a bad formula at all and then the last thing that i have to talk about i actually found this one at ross and this was just cute too cute to pass up i found this little pixie quad and it has pressed glitter so if you're not a fan of pressed glitters you won't like this but i like to use them from time to time when i grab for a pressed glitter most of the time i usually grab for my tati palette but you can no longer get that i use it in my personal use but i don't necessarily love to wear it in videos because if one of you guys ask me like hey what are you wearing and then i tell you and you don't have it it's like you can't go out and buy it but this is what the little quad looks like so this is the packaging really pretty pressed glitters i haven't tried their formula i've heard they're not bad so i'm excited to try this and just play with it i can't remember the price on it but it was super cheap from ross like i think it was like four or five bucks maybe not even that but other than that that is everything that is all my recent fall halloween and a little bit of makeup purchases that i have picked up here lately i hope you guys enjoyed and i just want to thank you guys so much for being here liking and commenting i will be back very very soon with another video but until then don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell below so you're notified every time i upload a video again thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye guys